Hello and welcome back to whatever it is that I do. Um, new snapshots have released. Uh, 2107A and 2108B and A, so I guess it's three, uh, have released and they've added the deep dark, as I'm sure you noticed. Um, this new block, Deep Slate, also called Grimstone, or it was called Grimstone in 07, but in 08 it was changed to Deep Slate. Uh, anyway, so it starts at Y0, and then it fully becomes Deep Slate at Y7. Uh, yep, negative 7 is when it becomes a solid part of it besides ore and caves and stuff. Uh, so, we will, before exploring caves and stuff, I'll move on to the base parts. So, Deep Slate and stuff. So, several types of Deep Slate have been added. Uh... Oh yeah, this is a random cat that wandered in from that village over there, so, anyway, uh, deep slate. So this is pretty much just like cobbled deep slate, except the top texture of it is like smoother. The, uh, uh, he's kind of loud, so, there. <clears throat> deep slate, so it's kind of like stone, but harder, slower to mine, and dark, but anyway, it's basically stone. This is basically cobblestone. Uh, this is polished deep slate. Um, I mean, it looks like, you know, your polished andesite and stuff like that. You got your deep slate bricks. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Deep slate tiles. Uh, kind of like brick as well, but different. And chiseled deep slate. I think that's supposed to be the warden. Because, you know, all the other chiseled blocks. Let's see. Yeah, so this is... Enderman, Creeper, let's see, Enderman, no, wait, what, that's a Creeper and that's a Wither, that's what I meant, not Enderman. Uh, alright, how to craft them and stuff. So, oh yeah, so, regular Deep Slate is basically stone, it's natural, you can't, like, craft it, uh, but you can acquire it with Silk Touch, looks like this, it sounds pretty neat when you place it, I'll probably boost it so you can hear it better. It sounds weird to walk on, um, but I guess it's just because it's kind of like a slatey kind of crunching sound. The rest all pretty much sound the same, I think. Uh, so cobbled deep slate. It's basically cobblestone. You can craft walls and slabs and stairs, pretty much like all these other ones. Uh, it's the regular crafting recipe. Uh, so let's see, like this, you know, for stairs, slabs, or walls. And, hey, uh, stereo slabs and walls. Yeah, yeah, that's everything. Uh, they can also be crafted in a stone cutter for more resource efficient crafting. Um, oh yeah, so you can use deep slate, cobbled deep slate to craft tools and stuff, so. Uh, no, it's not wood, it's sticks. Which is wood, but anyway. Uh, you can craft your pickaxe and axe and stuff. I mean, it's basically the exact same thing as cobblestone except not <laughs> moving on uh yes so polished uh deep slate it's just like that four in a grid boom polished deep slate looks kind of interesting it almost looks like wood kind of like a weird wood uh let's see let's get a oak plank you see what I mean? Kind of? Like the lines running through it? Am I just crazy? Probably. Uh, let's move on. To... It's raining again. Oh, although... That might have been a different clip. Anyway! Uh, deep slate bricks are not craftable currently, although you can use them to craft their versions of walls and slabs and stuff. You just can't craft the bricks yet in survival. Same for the tiles, exact same thing pretty much. These are interesting. So the, uh, uh, what's this called? Chiseled, chiseled deep slate. You use two slabs stacked on top of each other to create chiseled, which is interesting. That might be how you make the rest of chiseled stuff, but I never craft chiseled stuff, so I wouldn't know. 
All right, on to ore. Uh, they've changed how ore looks. So I'll just let you have a look for a second. See, they're all different. So iron is kind of like streaks now, which is interesting. Coal looks fairly similar, just kind of coal-like. Uh, copper, I, I don't remember if copper looked different, but I think this is the same as it looked earlier. Lapis, lapis looks similar, but di different. Gold looks... Yeah, oh, okay, you get it. They just look different. Look at them. Except for diamond. Diamond's the same. Alright, so there's also five variants that come in deep slate. Uh, iron, lapis, gold, redstone, and diamond. That's because they can be found in the deep dark, below Y0. And the uh, the rest of these can't. So, on to... Oh, quickly. They have rearranged... How the redstone tab works in creative which is kind of interesting at first i was like what why would they do that that doesn't make sense and then i actually booted up the game and looked at the inventory and i was like oh okay that makes sense this is kind of nice they also added honey and slime here which is pretty nice as well because it was a pain to find it in other tabs all right now something interesting uh this is ore distribution so redstone diamond that's what all the colors are these colors are the ores uh yeah so basically it's pretty self-explanatory so this was how it looked in 1.16 coal was able to be found uh like 120 ish and below and it was consistent in how much you could find as much down here as you could up there except i mean ground didn't usually generate that high so you got iron diamond lapis gold redstone and uh, emerald, but only in mountains. Pretty self-explanatory. You get it. Now over to how it is now. Um, so, uh, the slant part means that, so for example, iron. You won't find as much iron up at Y80 as you will down at 32. So basically, you'll find way more iron down in this area than up here. Or down here. Uh... I think it makes sense. It's I hopefully you understand. I'm not good at explaining stuff. This is copper. Um, so this is iron again. It can generate down here, but in smaller blobs than up here. Uh, so oh yeah. So these reduced air exposure. I think this means that. So for example, uh, lapis has a no air exposure that can happen. So I think this is similar to uh, ancient debris. Um, Basically, you will not be able to find it up here, exposed to air in caves and stuff. So, like, ancient debris, you have to mine through the netherrack to find it. So, I think that's how this will work. And then, uh, diamond and gold, you'll still be able to find them touching air, but less than before, I think. And then redstone is uh, just greatly increased down below 32. So, hopefully... That all makes sense. Uh, also, something very interesting is that way up here, iron, um, emerald, and coal become, like, way more common up at, like, Y256. So this means that we have to be getting mountains that are that high, right? Because, like, why else would there even be iron way up here? So that'll be interesting. That's kind of like a sneak peek, I think, kind of. We should be seeing huge mountains. So, uh, yeah, uh, that should be that. Alright, back to Minecraft. As you may have noticed, there's now a tuff down here, which is what used to be around geodes, but that's no longer around geodes. It's found underground. In the previous snapshot, this would be andesite down here, but they changed it to tuff, and then they moved. They removed tuff from geodes, and they added a new block around it. Smooth basalt. So, you'll be able to find this smooth basalt version surrounding geodes. And you get this by smelting basalt in a furnace. Or maybe it's a blast furnace. Either way. Uh, let's see if we can find a geode quickly. Oh, here's one. So, let's get a torch. There, so as you can see, surrounding it instead of tough now is basalt. Smooth basalt. So... Yeah, that's not too big of a change. Uh, I mean, you'll be able to get huge quantities of, uh, of uh, tough now. 
because it's just everywhere down here. So hopefully it'll be able to be used for something. So I was just flying around trying to find some stuff and uh, I found this huge cave. These are now way rarer than before. But wow, this is just ginormous. Let's get some on night vision. Like, wow, look at this. This is just ginormous. Can you imagine just finding this in survival? It would be so huge. Like, look at this. And all the mobs. Mobs spawn a ton down here. But that's... It's, I don't think it's any increased or anything. I think it's just regular. But since it's just a huge open dark area, they seem to spawn a lot. Anyway. Alright, I was just flying around still. I found this cave. It's so huge. Like, look at this. It just goes on and on. It's so big. I can't believe it. Like, look at this thing. It's ginormous. Well, hopefully you can see it alright. Um, because I don't have night vision. But yeah. So mine shafts will now be able to spawn with uh, chains holding them up if they're over a large area like this or if they're close to the ground they can generate like floor supports like this but if it's closer or I don't know I, I don't know I don't know because like that the ceiling is way further away there but it still generated a chain and then it generated one leg there it's so, like it did one and one I don't know why but yeah I mean there's chains now so that's cool if it's over an open area there are some new cave entrances so this is a really interesting one. It's like a, it's kind of like a ravine pretty much, but just like a super thin, just like crack in the ground. See, it's just like, I don't know what is up with it, but it's really interesting. Spore blossom plants will actually now spawn like uh, spore particles all around them, which is kind of neat. Well, that's about it from the update. Or, well, what I can remember at least. I mean, it's not like you come here for great videos. Well, why do you come here? Uh, I don't know. Why are you watching this video? Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, caves and stuff. Just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, just being able to fly through giant caves like this, it's just pretty crazy. Um, wow, this one is huge. Oh, you're kidding me. I literally spent like 5, 10, well, probably more like 10 to 15 minutes looking for an example of chains on mine shafts. And I'm just flying through a cave, talking, and I find one that has like tons of chains. Ah, thanks Minecraft. Very cool. Uh, cave update. Yeah, caves. Cool. Yes. Very much like. Very neat. Uh, the negative makes sense now. I like it. I wasn't so sure about it last time, but I like it now because it makes sense for the deep dark to be negative 64 up to zero. So, yeah. Mo Yang, you have my approval. And I know that is what you were waiting for. So, yeah. I guess that's it. Bye.